Well, good morning and happy Tuesday. It is June 9th. Can you believe that already? It is June 9th. It's Tuesday, just in case you're needing to know. Um, listen, we're praying for you. Continue, please, to pray for us. Continue to pray for our nation. Our nation is hurting. Uh, we need to really pray that God brings this nation back together. And, and I know through prayer, God can and will heal our land. Amen. Listen, I've got a question for you today. What are you building on? Now, I know that some of you with this summer that we've had, this beautiful weather we're having, and now that we can um, buy building materials once again, uh, we are starting to do some building. And you know, any time that you build anything, the most important part of that building is what? The foundation. Because if the foundation isn't correct, nothing else you put on it is going to be exactly right. And it just compounds itself. If the foundation is not right, then things, the walls aren't quite right, then the roof's not quite right. And all through the building, things aren't quite right, all because the foundation wasn't proper. And so I want to read a scripture verse, you today, verse to you today, and I want to uh, challenge you as well. I'm reading out of Matthew 7, 24, and it says, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house in the sand. And then we know the story. The rain came and destroyed everything. So my question is, what are you building your life on? What foundation do you have? Are you building it on the rock, which we know is the word of God? The, the, that solid foundation of the Word of God? Or are you building it on what you feel, what you think, what you hear, what you see, uh, what other people say, what society says? What are you building on? It is so important that today you build on the foundation of the Word of God. The Word of God is the absolute truth, and that is what we need to be building on. Amen? And if we're not building on that, then when the floods come, when the trials come, when the tribulation comes, where are we at? It is very, very important that we build on the foundation of the Word of God because we know that when the rains descend and trouble comes, we can stand on the Word of God and we know what we've entrusted will stand that storm. And a lot of people right now are falling, man. The storm is intense, but they built on the wrong things. So we're going to continue to build on the Word of God. Very, very important. Amen. Let me give you another scripture verse. In 1 Corinthians 3.12, it says, For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on this foundation, the foundation of Jesus Christ, which is the Word of God, with gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, or straw, each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built on endures, he will receive a reward. Now, the, and let me explain that scripture verse a little bit. The gold, silver, and precious stones. If you're building on the foundation of Jesus Christ with things that are solid, and that reference there is things that are sound biblical doctrinal teachings from the Word of God, then when the fire comes, you'll be able to endure that. You'll be rewarded. Now, if it is wood, hay, and stubble, or it says wood, hay, and straw, um, and the fire comes, that's unsound principles. So what are you living your life on? What are you putting your faith in? What are you putting your trust in? What are you building your foundation on? It needs to be the rock, and it needs to be good, solid, biblical, foundational doctrine. Not your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, what someone else says, what society says is right or wrong, not what the politicians say is right or wrong, what the Word of God says. Because when the rains come or the fire comes, if you built on that, it will stand, and we will be able to withstand those things. 
because we're going to stand on the word of God. Amen. The rock. So I hope this encouraged you today. I pray that it encouraged you today. What are you building on? If you're not building on good, solid foundational principles of the word of God, then start today. Simple thing. Just decide. Ask Christ to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior. Get into the Word of God and start putting these principles and these truths of the Word of God into effect in your life. And you watch and see if when storms come, you won't be able to endure them as well. Amen. Well, God bless you today. We love you. We're praying for you. Enjoy this glorious day that the Lord has made. Be blessed and we're going to rejoice in it. Amen. Again, remember, we're going to continue to walk in faith over fear. God bless you today.